Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about why it is important when everything is going wrong in our life, when we're serious about our lifting, to get into the gym and train. All right, a uh, perfect example. Uh, this video was prompted because one of my clients sent me a message this morning feeling like he's just like, I, I just am unmotivated this week, I'm struggling. Um, and it's someone who has suffered enormous health problems. Uh, someone whose spouse has suffered enormous health problems. Um, he's having a knee that hurts this week due to other issues not related to his training. Um, again, this is someone who, who's been through a lot. Right? He's been through a lot, but he's still a strong person inside. Like he's chosen to overcome everything that he has going on. He's chosen to continue to get stronger and better. He has obviously full me medical clearance to do all this. Um, and his doctors have even looked at the, the training I have him doing and they're like, okay, they approve of it, they're fine. So his physical therapist is actually fine with the training. So everybody's on board. Uh, but this is someone who, you know, he contacted me with that and I had to tell him, I'm like, look, you know, um, I know that you're having a bad week. I know that you're having issues with family health. I know your knee hurts but you need to get in and train your upper body. We have to stay in that habit, right? At a certain point when it comes to our training, it's no longer even about motivation because motivation fades. We're gonna have weeks where we don't have motivation. We're gonna have weeks where we the idea of even getting under a heavy barbell is something that we dread. No matter how much you love lifting, how passionate you are, you're going to reach those points, right? Because life will knock you down. Life will knock you down. It's one thing when you're when you're you're healthy and happy to get in and train and and do what you do. It's another thing when uh, you just did poorly on an exam. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe you just lost your dog. Maybe maybe your mother passed away. One of your loved ones is sick, right? Maybe you got a demotion at work and your boss yelled at you this week because you really made a big mistake that you didn't intend to make, but you messed up, okay? It's easy to get in and train when everything's going good, but when life hits you, because any of those things that I listed, there's a lot of people who would miss a whole week or a month from the gym because of those things. That's why it's important for us to understand that training has to become a habit. That's one of the reasons actually even when I, when I get clients who say things like, well, I, can't I train more than four days a week? Do I have to do everything based on a seven-day rotation? It's like, yes, you do. Couldn't I do two-on-one-off instead of an upper body upper body for a day, upper lower every week, right? It's like, no, because you know that on Mondays you do a max press day or Monday is your heavy bench day or your heavy squat day, okay? You're in that habit. Does that mean automatically that, oh, that's the ideal ratio that exactly four days and a seven day split is the actual perfect scenario? No but it creates habit. It is consistency that matters. Being consistent is actually uh, more important than being optimal. And I'm not saying getting that last half percent edge that being optimal won't do that because it will. But if you're losing 10% or 20% of your progress because you're not being consistent, that half a percent means nothing on the optimal. In other words, if you take two identical lifters and one of them you give him optimal programming but he's only 80% consistent through the year versus one who's on not quite as optimal but really good program really good programming who follows it perfectly who's going to get more gains a consistent one every single time and he's going to get a hell of a lot more gains he's going to get a lot more so here's what this comes down to. It's about consistency. And that's why it is important for us to create habits. That's why your training has to become a lifestyle. 
Okay. And so if your program is set to where every Thursday is your volume upper body day or your speed bench day or, you know, it's your overhead press day, if you're running something like 531, that is your habit. That's your habit. You do that every Thursday, come hell or high water. You do that every Thursday, even if your boss screamed at you on Wednesday afternoon and threatened to fire you because of a big mistake you made. Or Thursday morning, you get bad news from the doctor. Okay? Your wife or your mother or somebody has a tumor that they need to investigate. Worry, they, they need to do a biopsy of it. Okay? When you get the bad news, Thursday, Thursday still your volume bench day, it's your volume upper body day. Because that's what Thursday is, and that's what you do. And you know what? You go in and you do it. Even if in the back of your head, your loved one may have cancer. Okay? You go in and you do it. You go in and you do it. Even if your boss yelled at you. Right? Why? Because that's what you do on Thursday. That's your habit. That's your routine. You guys think every single champion out there doesn't have bad days? You think every guy out there who, who reaches their goals in training? Do you think that they only have good weeks? You don't think their parents pass away? You don't think their dog dies? Right? You don't think they lose motivation? Do you think there's anybody on the face of the earth when those things happen who they want to go in and train that that's what they're motivated to do? No. Nobody, nobody wants to go in and train, particularly a hard workout. Maybe with exercises they don't enjoy that they know they need to do. Man, I'm looking forward to doing... 20 rep sets of good mornings when I'm, I'm worried about a malignant tumor in my loved one. You know, that's, that's not what you're thinking about. It's the habit. It's the routine. That is what we have to fall back on when everything is going wrong. Okay. Motivation doesn't matter. Motivation is short term. Motivation is what you use to get into the gym for the first six months. Okay? Motivation is, is why people need a pre-workout. Because they, they don't feel motivated today. Right? Well, you get in and you do what you can. Get in and do what you can. And here's what happens sometimes. Sometimes the consistency of the gym brings you that normalcy. Because that's what happens. These things unhinge our lives. It makes us feel like we have lost control. Our sense of normalcy, our sense of safety, all of that gets crushed when those things happen. Thursday is a constant, okay? Thursday is something that you have scheduled to do that way for one reason or another, and it's your center. It brings you normalcy during those hard times, okay? And you need that. You need that sense of habit. You need that sense of habit. And you know what ends up happening? Those, those workouts that you're not motivated to do at that point. Because you really don't want to do them when you're when you're worried about some of these other things. You don't want to do that workout. You're not motivated. Once you get in there and start doing it, though, guess what? Your routine, your schedule, your norm normalcy is back. 
It'll center you. It'll ground you. Okay? It'll help you to get your thoughts into place. Because it'll help you think clearly about these things. It'll help you think clearly about these things. Because now you're in your normal habit. You're in your normal state of mind. For just a little while, the panic can set aside. And it'll let you think clearly. Figure out how you need to think or feel about these things. What you're going to do about it. Instead of woe is me. Okay. That's why we need the habit and routine. The training gives us that. And a lot of people forget that. Alright guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.